Welcome to Sail Sam Point's instructional rigging videos. The purpose of these videos is to refresh sailors on how to rig our open boating sailboats. These videos are intended for people with sailing experience as they do not replace in-person training. Thank you for watching and happy sailing. Hi, I'm Lauren and I'm with the UW sailing team and uh, we sail here throughout the week in our racing seasons. And today I'm gonna show you how to rig an FJ. And next we're gonna head back to the sailing room or sail room <laughs> and uh, grab our sail number. So before you come up here, you wanna check and see what number your boat has it on it and get the corresponding sail. So I have boat eight. So here I'm going to go to sail seven and eight and pull out number eight. Let's carry this down to our boat. Here we are at boat number eight with my number eight sails down here. Uh, and we're gonna empty the sails into the boat now. Okay, we just wanna make sure to put our sail back back on the sailing hook so it doesn't blow away or get lost or go in the water and get all wet. So you definitely wanna do that right after you put your sails in the boat. Next, you're just going to want to unfurl your sails in your boat. Uh, make sure they don't get wet or anything. Uh, just keep them in there. What you're going to want to do, once you've got it all unrolled, is to find your jib, which is the smaller sail for those of you who sail. Okay. And we're just going to pull out our jib now. All right. Here we have the tack which we're going to now attach to the front of our boat here. Um, some of them are a little bit different, but this one has a pin at the front that I'm just gonna flick like that, pull it out, attach by sliding the pin back in with the tack attached. If your fingers are cold, this gets harder. <laughs> and flip it back. So now it's attached. I can run up the luff here, which is this piece with the metal inside of it. Uh, and I'm gonna find my jib halyard, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna just undo this cleat knot that you'll find down here. Get my jib halyard. This one, it's attached to the downhaul, so I'm gonna just pull this down to me. I'm gonna undo the halyard here, the shackle on the halyard, and attach it to the head of my sail. So. Again, it's just a simple pin on this one, and you're gonna turn it so that it clicks here. It should be facing up. And you're just gonna hoist up your jib. After you have your jib halyard hoisted up most of the way, you're gonna slide the end of it through uh, the pulleys down here. So first you're gonna go through this bottom pulley, and then pull that up and then you're gonna pull it through this second pulley here. And then you're gonna wanna hoist your jib all the way up, pull down as hard as you can, and you're gonna slide it around this cleat right here. Once you've done that, you can tie a nice and secure cleat knot. Which you do like that. And I make sure to always neaten up my line so it doesn't get in the way of rigging later, and I just do that by bunching it up like this, and sliding it behind the jib halyard here. And now the jib is up. Okay, so now that I've got my jib up, we're gonna start pulling up the main. So the first thing I like to do is undo the slip knot here on my main sheet so that I can make sure to pull it up all the way when the time comes. This is a really well done slip knot. All right, it's undone. Um, and now we have our main in the boat. You're gonna wanna find after you find the clue of your sail, you're going to want to find the front of the track on the boom. It should be right next to the mast. And you're going to take this little black piece here, the slug, and slide it through the track. So you just want to make sure the foot of your sail is going in the track, like so. And you're just going to keep going all the way through. But if you're doing it by yourself, it'll just go a little slower. Okay, after you put the foot of the sail uh, through the track on the boom, you're going to want to undo the main halyard, which is tied down here. It looks very similar to the jib halyard, because they're both halyards. And what you're going to do undo is this little cleat knot here, and you're going to want to drop the boom. Now, make sure to not just drop it down. You're going to want to drop it very carefully. Also, make sure that your boom is in the boat, 
and you're gonna want to lower it nice and slow so you don't damage the boat or the boom. Uh, don't let go of your main halyard, um, but you're gonna pull it down. This is the out hull here, uh, and it's connected to the other end of our main halyard. So what we have here is a square knot on the end, and you're just gonna want to untie that. And you can go ahead and drop the out hull and hold on to both pieces of your halyard here. You don't want to let go of those. With both of those in hand, you're going to want to find the head of your sail. Once you've found the head of your sail, you're going to want to make sure that your halyard isn't twisted at all, because if you raise it up and it's twisted, that's a sad day. So once you've made sure there's no twists, your lines are nice and straight, you're going to want to take the end that was tied to the out hull. So if you look up, there's a ring on one. You're going to want to pull the one without the ring. So see, it's the one going backwards. <laughs> OK, once you make sure you have the right one uh, and that it's also not twisted around anything or has any knots in it, uh, it's time to tie it to the head of your sail. Uh, there's a few ways you can do this. But the way I like to do it is make a little loop and then you're gonna push it through. And then what you can do is you wanna pull it out a little bit. You can tie a knot on the end. I like to do an eight knot. And then you're going to pull it through the loop you've just made. And that's just gonna make a really nice secure little fastening at the top um, so that it doesn't slide through. Once you've tied the knot, you're gonna put it in the track on the mast here and you're going to start to hoist the mainsail. Now you're only going to want to hoist to the first batten, so just pass this just a tiny bit. Make sure that it stays in the track and that it's going up nice and smooth. You want to hoist to about there and then leave it until you go into the water. So since you've done that, you're going to want to tie your cleat knot back. So once you've got your mainsail raised to the first batten, you're going to want to find the out hole, which here is this red string, and you're going to put it through the clue of your sail. <clears throat> so here, there's a metal ring right here. This is the clue of your sail. And you're going to slide the out hole through, and you're going to want to find this pulley on the back of your boom here, and you're going to slide the out hole through that. And you're not going to get it attached to this hook right here on the bottom of your boat. Once you've done that, just make sure that your sail can slide all the way back. You might have some kinks in the front that need to be undone. Once you've gone through the pulley on the back of your boom, you're gonna take your out hull and you're gonna slide it through right here. And then through this pulley right here. And you're just gonna wanna tie like a little securing knot and eight knots fine, just to make sure it doesn't slide back through. Um, but this is not what's gonna make it tighter. This here is what's gonna affect whether or not the out haul moves. So just keep that in mind. Uh, after you've done that, you're gonna wanna make sure and check your plugs before putting it in the water. Make sure you've got your sail bag put away, uh, any other thing you gotta do before leaving the dock. So our boat is almost ready to put in the water, but there's a few things we gotta check first before we put it in. So number one, we wanna check the plugs, which are here in the back of the boat. So you should have a tennis ball right here on the back of your boat, and it's gonna fit right into this hole. Uh, you have an S hook right here that's gonna connect to this metal bar. And you just wanna make sure the tennis ball is situated so that it covers that hole and no water is gonna get into your boat. And since you're checking your back plug, you also just wanna check uh, your two little uh, inner plugs back here. Just make sure they're nice and tight, just that they haven't come out or anything. Uh, and then we're gonna move to the front of the boat and do our jib sheets. Uh, on the clue of your jib, you're gonna find your two jib sheets. And what you're gonna wanna do is just put those through the pulleys on the back of your boat. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it here. You're gonna pull it and make sure it clicks. So I've put it in the wrong way. Good to know, always wanna check that. If you're pulling it towards the back of the boat, it should click. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tie a stopper knot on the end of that. An eight knot or a barrel knot is okay. I'm gonna tie a barrel knot because it's my preferred stopper knot. I think they're better. <laughs> so you're just gonna wanna tie your knot on the back here and you can throw that in the boat. And then we're gonna do the same thing on our other side with our other jib sheet. Just wanna mention, make sure you go inside the shrouds, not outside of them. 
you're gonna pull it back to this pulley here. It should click when you pull back again. Same barrel knot. And then just make sure that's nice and tight. And you can go ahead and throw that back in the boat. One last thing before we put our boat in the water, we're gonna wanna make sure it's untied from the dock before we try to launch it. Otherwise it won't go anywhere. So we're just gonna untie our half hitches here and then just undo it from around the mast. And you can go ahead and just toss that out of the boat, right, like that. And now we're ready to launch. Okay, before launching your boat, you wanna make sure you grab your rudder and your tiller. So those are also inside the sail room and they're over on your right here. Uh, so you wanna grab the one corresponding to your boat. Again, I have boat eight, so you're gonna wanna find the one on number eight. Should be this one. <laughs> and you're also gonna wanna grab your tiller. All of them should match with all of the rudders, so just grab one that's available. Once you've grabbed your rudder and tiller, you just wanna set them gently in the boat. Make sure you don't drop them too hard or anything, but just lay them down nice and gently. We don't wanna, you know, scratch and break them. Uh, also don't drop them, you know, outside of the boat or anything like that. And you should be ready to launch. All right, so once your boat's ready to go, you're gonna wanna launch it into the water and just make sure that the bow faces towards the wind. So today that's coming from that direction and uh, you're ready to launch. Okay, three, two, one. Go. Remember this is a two person boat, so you're gonna wanna have your partner uh, holding your boat, preferably at the shroud, again, still pointing into the wind uh, while one of your other people gets into the boat and uh, finishes rigging. So I'm gonna step into the boat now that I know it's secured and I'm gonna finish my rigging job. So I like to do the rudder tiller first since I'm already at the back of the boat. Remember, again, you put them in the bottom of the boat. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to just kneel down in the back, grab your rudder and find the pintles and line them up with the gudgeons, which are these holes right here. So you just wanna line them up and then make sure to drop it down right on top of them like that. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna find this pulley right here, slide it inside the boat, just so ease of grabbing. Then you're gonna get your tiller, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide it in, slide them in all the way through so that they poke out the back here. Make sure it can't go any further. Once you've done that, you're gonna take the pulley that I showed you earlier. You're gonna find the line that's attached here, slide it through the pulley, and you just wanna make sure that your rudder is all the way down so that it's not floating up or anything like that in the water. Just pull it so it's all the way down, flush with the boat. You're gonna take the end of your line, slide it through here. Again, pull it tight, slip it into the cleat right here. And if you have like extra line, you just might wanna you know, wrap it around a little bit uh, and secure it like that so it's not in your way. But again, that's preference, so uh, now your rudder and tiller is attached. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drop your centerboard so that your boat's more stable when you're in the water uh, and you can move around as you finish the rest of your rigging. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna uncleat from here. This will allow you to drop your centerboard like that. And then you have your bungee here and you're just gonna wanna attach it right here. Just make sure it's down all the way. And now you should have a little bit more um, stability to the boat as you're rigging. So now you should be all ready to raise your main the rest of the way up. Remember, you don't want to raise it on the dock no matter how windy the day is. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your boom bang here is nice and loose for ease of pulling. You also just want to make sure that your out haul is nice and loose as well. Do that really quick. And now you're ready to hoist up your main. So you're just going to want to pull it up the rest of the way. and you just wanna make sure that it's gone up all the way and that it's all the way in the track here. <laughs> uh, once you've done that, you can find the little loop that was at the top of your mast and you're just gonna to wanna to pull the rope down like this and then you're gonna attach that to your cleat down here. You just wanna tighten it one more time, make sure it can't go up any further 
double check, make sure it's all the way at the top of your mast, and then you're ready to tie your cleat knot down here for the final time. Make sure that's nice and cinched down. And again, you just want to neaten up your rope so that you're not stepping all over it or anything like that. And you can do that by bunching it up and sliding it in here. The last thing you want to do before leaving is you just want to slide your downhaul through here in the back of the boat. Make sure that this is still in the track and just pull down a little bit. Slide this through your cleat here and just make sure that it's nice and pressed in so that your downhaul's on. Double check all of your lines, like your down or your out haul here, <laughs> and uh, you should be ready to go.